sheep. Where is it? This time, there it is. Oh my gosh. Johnny, what's going on, man? Yeah, no, I just got home from walking the dog. He loves a good walk. I can just see it in his eyes. Bruh. Yeah, man, did you know the Pokemon Aurora's TCG comes out today? Nah, I had no idea that comes out today. Send me a couple of pictures of the cards, like via email or something. Cheers, man. The cards can't be that good. I couldn't imagine they... That card, no. I see trees of green Red roses too I see them blue me, 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 me. Whoa, get back, that's for the Cookie Monster. <sighs> me, 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 me. It's here. Welcome back to what is another initially video and holy for the bolly wrap only mac and cheese meatballs in my pants. Not only is my window open, the whole street is listening at this unboxing, but that is all good hood. That is completely fine. Because holy flippin' moly, ravioli, as I said before, this is absolutely incredible. This is the day to defeat all days. Not only is Christmas right around the corner, which I know is pretty exciting, you're gonna have to sit down for this unboxing. You are just gonna have to, like, brew yourself a cup of tea, go get some popcorn, because this is gonna blow your mind so far apart. It's gonna, like, I didn't, like, there are no words. There are so many brand new cards in this set. Uh, there's so many awesome secret rares, there's so many awesome full arts, EXs. But without further ado, you know what we're unboxing, guys. You can all say it with me. We're unboxing Tidal Storm, which is actually Pokemon Aurora's TCG. Holy flippin' moly ravioli, mac and cheese meatballs. <laughs> I seriously, I'm lost for words right now. So uh, I'll just quickly explain. If you don't know what Tidal Storm is, it's pretty much like there's two different versions. Uh, we got the Volcanic version, which is sort of the, uh, what is it, Omega Ruby sort of one. And then we got the Alpha Sapphire. So they split it into two different ones for the Japanese version. But uh, when it comes out English, do not worry. It'll just be one, like, complete set. But they do this, like, now and again with the X and Y set. They did two different sets. But anyway, we have got both on board. But I thought we'd start off with Alpha Sapphire because, uh... <laughs> Because that's the game like I'm playing at the moment, and uh, do not worry, I'm definitely going to try and get these up as fast as I flipping can, because I'm so excited. But having a look around the box, this is absolutely amazing. Check this artwork out. we got like the sun beaming down, it's like, oh, this is the Aurora's TCG, and we're like, yes it is. Oh, we've got Kyogre there looking like an absolute boss. A couple of Japanese bits are writing there, it's a really awesome like lime green coated with like aqua blue around there. But then on the side, we've got these awesome, I cannot get over this artwork right now. we got my Mylotic, we got a Mudkip, which we've seen before on the Holland Collection. Oh, uh, we got Wolverine and Bidoof, I don't know, he's just chilling, he just does his thing, you know, we just gotta let him do it. Oh, uh, we got the two little Logos, it's first edition as well, which is flipping fantastic, so all the cards we get, uh, they're worth like a, just a bit more because it's first edition. But guys, this is a Pokemon Ouroboros TCG barcode! Oh, those barcodes get me every time. Gee whiz, especially those new Aurora barcodes all the time. So, Mr. Stanley, let's bust this one open. We're not wasting any time here because I really just want to show you guys some of the new cards and uh, just get some of the cards, like, in my collection, which is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. There are so many different, like, random ones. But, Mrs. Stanley, what are you most pumped up for? And, oh, some of those secret rares I am super duper keen for. They just look amazing. Oh, dude, you should see some of the secret rares. Like, I think they've got a whole new sort of texture to them and uh, it looks incredible. So, hopefully, you guys are just excited and we didn't rip it. Is that a good sign? Does that mean we're going to get some good pulls? Hopefully it does. We didn't rip it. Usually I always rip those things, but we're going to open 10 packs in the first part, and then the second part will open 10 again. So we got... Six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the very last one, we got 10. And uh, I'm going to trim the... I don't think I'll trim the tops off. Like, we'll do it live. We'll just do it raw, because... I see, I've got way too excitement right now. I just want to crack straight into this one. The very first pack, should we shake it up? All right, we're going to do this one. We're going to treat this one, because uh, we should all get flipping pumped up. So we're going to shake this one. Here we go. Shake it up. Blow it for me. Whew. Is this going to contain the goods? Leave a comment in the comment section below. What Are you very excited for this set? Like, what card do you most want to pull? Um, there's some really awesome full arts. Like, we've got the obvious ones like Kyogre, uh, Secret Rares, and then flipping the half cards. Oh, yeah, by the way, brand new item on the TCG Japan. They've got codes now. So, uh, what... Oh, I'll focus this one up for you. What the, uh, what the codes do, pretty much, you can redeem them in Japan. And I'm pretty sure it's, it might be for only Japanese people. But uh, you can redeem it for items inside the game. And if you get enough of them, you get, like, Master Balls. It's really, really awesome. So, uh, I'm going to give them all away. I don't really want them. But, uh, yeah, if you guys can redeem them, go grab them. Uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. And we also get the obvious advertisement for the... Uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. So we've got that little advertisement there, but it's still one for the back. So it is like slightly thicker. We do get seven different items, but then again, five different game cards. But without further ado, guys, hopefully you guys are sitting down and prepare yourself. Just have an absolutely fantastic opening. Let's do this one. I'm going to speak quiet. Let's go. So the first card we got here is a six pack of water. We got a Mr. Mime. Oh my gosh. What is he looking at? There's like some sort of, I don't know, they look like, have you ever had that food where they got like fish eggs and you sort of have it on bread? I had it once, nearly vomited. I know it's meant to be really expensive, tasty food. I just really didn't enjoy it. Oh my gosh, no, oh, no, I'm so done. I am so done right now. Okay, I gotta keep my voice low. I, I, this, the window's open, but we just pulled a flipping 
Oh my gosh, this is an ancient trait card, and it's the holo version, so you can actually get, so these are like half cards, right? And uh, you can either get a shiny like version like this, which is the holo form, or you can get just a regular rare. On the very first pack, not only did we pull a holo, we pulled a half card holo. Look at the artwork as well, this is, this is so incredible right now. Hopefully you guys are shaking, I'm, look at this, this is ridiculous. We get 130 HP, it's a dragon type obviously, 150 damage, that is hectic as... Uh, 100, what, 53 in the set, so there's 70 cards in this set, and then there must be 70 cards, that's 100, oh my gosh, this is a ridiculously big set, oh, let me clear my throat there, but uh, this is, oh my gosh, this is what makes the set for me, like these incredible bits of artwork, how it dips into the, like, titling there, holy mac and cheese meeples, my pants, what a flipping first pack, let's put this one at the back, and let's keep going, are you serious right now, our very first pack, we managed to pull a flipping half card, that is ridiculous, let's bust this one open, Oh, I'm so done. We, oh, we should have shaken it up. There we go. And there was also a new artwork. What have we got? That's cool. Like, Alteria. There we go. Code for your advertisement to the side. One from the back. I think we'll stop shaking him up because I'm going to give myself a hard attack otherwise. So we can XP share looking pretty cool. But yeah, I don't know. Have you tried those fish eggs before? It just, I don't, it's brought back a bad memory for me. I just had it at my friend's house. And he's like, dude, you should try these fancy new fish eggs. I didn't know you like part. Is that the right? Oh, it's an uncommon. We got an uncommon Azumarill, which looks which looks pretty cool. I like that card, but I uh, yeah, I don't know. I really don't like those fish egg things. Uh, I think is it caviar? All oh, right, I don't know. Maybe not. You guys, probably tell me in the comment section below. Anyway, let's move on. What are we talking about that for? Oh oh, did you see that? Look at this. I, that's the regular rare version. That's the, oh, sorry, I'm dying. There's a code for you. Uh, advertisement to the side. One from the back. I'm gonna try and cut. Oh, but you're kidding me right now. We got another one. Oh, I'm so done. Ludicolo. What a boss. That is, oh my gosh, the artwork, sorry if this is going to take a while, I'm just going to be staring at the artwork for a while, but that is amazing, so, uh, should we put these at the back, like, I don't know, alright, we won't, we won't, uh, we'll put the shiny ones at the back, but look at this, half art after half art, and there's no attacks there, that's really cool, it's hell blank, like, we've got one attack there, oh, gee whiz, alright, so, uh, no, no, the next card is shiny, it's the next flipping card, there we go, it's a regular common, we got a flipping Kakuna, but the following card, what could it possibly be? This is only our third pack in. So whatever it is, I am flipping shaking right now, it is none other than a holo Manaphy. Are you serious right now? We actually pulled a holo, this is our second holo and our third pack in. Is this going to be a box to like beat every box? I don't know, you should come up with a hashtag right now, because we are only on our third very, uh, yeah, third boost pack. And check the artwork, that's, I was trying to figure out, are they Pokemon? I don't think they are, they look like beach umbrellas or something. But uh, yeah, no, this is actually pretty crazy. Our third boost pack, and we already pulled a holo. Okay, so we're two holos down. This is so crazy, I'm legitimately shaking. But that's also because I didn't have any lunch yet. It's, uh, t it's two o'clock in the, look at that, that's really cool. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, still having any lunch. I know, it's silly, but I got this package, and I'm like, you know what, we have to unbox it. And uh, hopefully we can get a decent pull. Oh my gosh, that is really cool artwork. I love it. Another half card there with Bidoff. He he looks like he's meditating. He's like, Ma, I like McDonald's. Praying to the cheeseburger gods. We got a flipping Feebas. We got a Beedrill. And the next card is... The, oh my gosh, it's another flipping half card. I'm, I'm seriously in love with these cards right now. And uh, I think it's also really, really brilliant how we, we don't really get like a boring pack anymore. Because it's either going to be like a holo, a uh, regular rare, a holo half, half art or a half art, or a full art EX, or secret rare. That is crazy. How many options are there now? That, that's so crazy to me. All right, so we get a Delcatic here. We'll go a bit faster. Uh, I know a lot of you are like, come on, Ando, it's just artwork. We get a Mudkip, and then we got another flipping holo. Are you serious right now? Oh my, that looks so menacing as well. Uh, we got an 80 plus damage attack, which is absolutely brutal. Look at the shine on that thing. That is crazy awesome. Uh, put that one in the back. That is our third holo in this booster. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. All right, so we'll go to the next pack. Let's keep going. Oh my flipping mac and cheese meeples. So cards that I'm wanting to get out of this set probably goes... <clears throat> I probably want a Kyogre Half Art. I mean, not Half Art. What am I talking about? Secret Rare. Uh, Kyogre Secret Rare because Secret Rares look amazing. Gardevoir Secret Rare also looks incredible. I'm pretty sure that's Escape Rope. Oh, we got a Surskit there. We get a bit of once again. A flipping Marsh Tomp looking like a boss. And then a Gardevoir Spirit Link. So Spirit Link's make a return. There are so many Spirit Links in the set. It's crazy. Like, we got uh, Groudon Spirit Link, Kyogre Spirit Link. That one, oh my gosh. It's a flipping Spirit Link party up in here. Look at that, look at an awesome Blaziken art. I want to show you guys the artwork of the codes. So they, were, they should do that in English, like change up the uh, different pictures for different codes. That'd be pretty cool. All right, <clears throat> let's go. Dun, 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 dun. We got a mirror as well. We got a star you. Oh my flipping gosh, that artwork actually looks really, really cool. It's like a sort of a claymation-y one. But uh, anyway, going on to the next card. We got another flipping holo half art. Oh my flipping gosh, guys, we pulled a flipping swamp at half art. Sorry about that, I had to get off my chair. Uh, that was insane. No, look at this card. It looks so incredible. 
the artwork is to die for. Like, like down the bottom, they've sort of got a few rocks as if like it's underwater. That is incredible. It's pretty much like a fuller card, but it's uh, with the hollow form. This is to die. this is probably my favorite half art card in the entire set, and we managed to pull on part number one. Holy mac and cheese and meatballs, my pants. I've got a flipping massive smile on my face. This is incredible. No way. What do we want? This is our fourth. Is it our fourth holo? Yeah, it is. This is so crazy. Uh, that's two half art holos as well. No way. All right, we'll put this one at the back. That is a flipping swamp at Paul. No, oh my gosh. All right, how many packs have we got to go? Three packs. No way, really? Oh my gosh, it's so depressing. All right, three more packs. Let's do this one. We've got two. Oh, slice the top off that one. Come on. We're going to. I reckon we'll shake the last two up. We've got a cosplaying Pikachu. There's the code for y'all. Advertisement to the side. One from the back. Let's kill it. Let's do this one. Three packs. Can we get three awesome pulls in a row? Probably not. But that's all good in the hood. Hopefully the last two packs have got something. We get a Seedra. And the final card is an uncommon tidal wave. Oh my gosh. It looks like something the Titanic crashed into. Titanic crashed into Iceberg. What am I talking about? I've lost my marbles. You pull one good card, Ando, and you lose your marbles. It's all right. That's the story of my life. Oh, look at that. Look at the boss Pokemon. They've got the code there. Advertisement to the side. It's quite the weird coding system as well. It's a really, really tiny one, so hopefully you guys can see it pretty good. But let's do this one. We get a flipping uh, Marsh Tomp as well, Mental Blank. We get a Lotad, a Sveal going upside down. And the next card is none other than a Sharpedo EX. Holy flipping moly, ravioli, mac and cheese, and meatballs, my pants, West Virginia. What is going on right now? Oh my, this is straight. Oh my gosh, this is like after the flipping half art. Swamp it at the back there. We pulled a Sharpedo EX. This looks incredible. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving the artwork on this card so much. All the water splash marks around there. And then we got like a star on top of Oh, my, I'm just dying right now. Laser beam eyes and all that. That looks so cool. It's a really, really nice, shiny, glossy hollow. I mean, not hollow, EX. Oh, look at that. We could just stare up for days. 100 damage on that attack there, 170 HP. What an epic looking pull on the second to last boost pack. This is actually the part of the century. Make sure you come up with a hashtag for this box because it's pretty hashtag cray. Um, no way. Oh my, that is such an awesome EX. This is what I'm talking about. Like the EXs in the set are just mind blowing. So guys, we are on the very last boost pack of part number one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. But let's shake it up, shake it up, blow it for me. <sighs> Should we do the roller coaster? No, no, no. I, I was just playing. I know you guys would probably demolish me if I did the roller coaster. But let's do this one. Trim the top off this. Okay, please. Let's. Even if it's a hollow half art again, I'll be quite happy with that. Let's go. Advertisement to the side. One from the back. It's already. Oh my gosh. It's already a flipping half art. Wish cast. Wish us well. <laughs> wish cast. Does he have good wish luck? Maybe. Another flipping half art with a bit of there. And the final card of part number one of this Tidal Storm booster box is going to be none other than the one. The only... Oh, it's a dive ball. That's all good in the hood, though. We had an absolutely flippin' amazing part. The ratios in this must be ridiculous. But check this out. I'm just gonna go from this way. Look at this. We got a Swamp at Half Art Hollow, which looks so crazy. Another Hollow. You want another Hollow? Sure, I'll give you another one as well. Another flipping Hollow Half Art on top of that. And uh, a flipping Sharpedo EX. There is seriously not much better that we can actually do out of this for the first 10 boost packs. And let me just tell you right now. We still have another 10 boost packs to open, and we only pulled one EX. So I have a pretty good feeling that part number two is going to blow your mind so far apart. It'll be ridiculous. Make sure you click Notation right about there. It'll take you straight to part number two. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. What do you think of this set? Are you enjoying the half arts? And uh, with, uh, yeah, leave a hashtag for this box because it's incredible. But make sure you have a fantastic day, guys. But most of all, what do you think guys? What do you do? You throw me up, though, you! Make sure you click the annotation because it is going to be an absolutely epic storm ride for part number two. But most of all, keep on gaming. See you then, guys.